A&M beats the Tennessee Vols today in Knoxville, 34-13, y'all. I literally fell asleep in the fourth quarter of that game. Um, team's a joke. Pruitt's a joke. Third and seven. Three and seven. Y'all can make the excuse that the 0-8 SEC season was worse. Doesn't really matter, y'all. Pruitt should have been fired after the Georgia State game last year. I came on here and said it. I said it in the comments other places was made fun of mock who who's uh who's the idiot now you know everyone stands stands behind this losers gump this idiot like just send his ass back to alabama he's a freaking joke oh and then it comes out during the game that uh you know we're under investigation now like we're three and seven and we're under investigation like just a, just a total joke this program is a joke if pruitt is not fired today or tomorrow this program does not care and i mean we we know they don't care like if if we're scared to hire certain coaches like we're scared to bring kiffin back we're scared to hire hugh freeze because you know we might be under investigation well damn i'd rather be winning and under investigation i mean either way you look at it right now i mean we're under investigation like Ansley's out, so you know who, who's running our defense today? Pruitt. Dude, dude's a, supposed to be a defensive coach, and our defense is just garbage. You know, we can't we we we're, we can't protect against the slants. Um, no composure. You know, go momentum turning the game going in before half. We got a chance to get the ball back and possibly take the lead, and I'll be damned. Third and is like third and thirteen maybe. It was third and long. I'll be damned if we don't get a stop and then hands to the face. DeAndre Johnson, hands to the face. Uh, there, there's no more excuses. Uh, Pruitt's a garbage coach. Um, there's no reason, you know, that he pissed around and let JG start all those games this year, you know. Um, when you can obviously tell that Shroud and Bailey are hands down the better choices at quarterback. Um, I mean, they're not much better, but they're better. Y'all, Tennessee football was unenjoyable for me this year. I didn't go to a single game in Neyland Stadium for the first time since the 2007 season. I guess I debunked the myth. I always thought that if I stopped going to games, they would get better. Well, that sure as hell didn't happen. Um... I'm just glad this game's over with. My thing is, one question. We're under investigation for possibly paying players or impermissible benefits. Which player on this team is worth paying? Like, I can't name a single player that's worth anything on this team, y'all. They all, like, our, our best player, you could say, is Henry Toa Toa, and he has gotten no better with his coaching staff. Um, I'll just be glad when this crap ends. Like, let's just fire Pruitt, get it over with. Hopefully we can fire him with cause, and we don't have to pay another stupid buyout. Um, I was asking my buddy last night, like, is, like, how did we just finish paying Lyle's buyout, you know? And I'll be damned if we almost didn't get ourselves in the same position again owing the buyout. Not much more on the worthless football team. The real sport at Tennessee now is basketball, and that's actually a sport, y'all, that's enjoyable. Um, this team is... I'm not saying it, but I'm saying it. Final four or bust, y'all. Um, like, there's so many players on this team you could, you like, to have a case that could be the best player that we got. You know, last night our, our starting point guard got zero points. And we, I mean, yeah, it's tech, but like I said, last night we could have, we could have put up 120 points easily. Um, Springer led us last night. God, he was on fire last night. Him and Keon about to make some big time money, y'all. They're finna be rich. Um, I mean, I, you could honestly, if he could get his shooting improved, um, well, Pons, Pons is Pons is probably all around the best athlete we got on the team. If he could improve his shooting, he'd be the best. Just, I, you could honestly even say, which I never would have thought this, but he's. Uh, my, one of my favorite players now, John Fulkerson. 
He's led us in scoring the first two games of the year with all the five stars coming in there. You know, deep down, when them, when them five star athletes got there and they saw they saw John Ferguson for the first time, they they probably thought he was a walk on who never got to play in time. But that boy, oh, he's so good, and he doesn't. He's just so good. I forget sometimes he's six nine. Josiah James picking it up. I mean, he realizes he's got to pick it up. He's a five star last year. He realizes if he don't pick up his game, he's gonna be in the back end. 10th, 11th spot on the bench. Um, just, the team is so good. Uh, we'll have more on that in a couple of videos. But, like I said, it's a basketball school. And I'm going to, like, it's enjoyable. Basketball is enjoyable. Beating up teams is enjoyable. Watching football in Tennessee, not enjoyable. Thank God this season's over. Tennessee, you better not accept a ball game. You're a bunch of bums, losers. Fire Pruitt. Get him a hell out of Knoxville so we can get this nightmare over with. Go Big Orange, baby.